Hello fellow murderers, today is Sunday, May 5th, 2024, and it's a great day to solve murder. Today we have the mystery of the body wet. Um, <laughs> I'm already loving it. I love the spa references always. And we have three 6x6 grids with suspects, locations, and weapons. And we are yeah, at the, the weekly visit to the high-end prison. So we will get to see some familiar faces today as well as some familiar locations and weapons. So let's see what our red murder clue is. Okay, so Inspector Irritino's body was found wet. Okay, so that means that the murder took place in the spa. And we will use our clues and evidence in our detective's notebook to figure out who was in the spa and what weapon they brought. So let's go ahead and meet our suspects. We have Baron Maroon. Oh, okay, we've got a bit of it. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this in a second. We've got Baron Maroon, Father Mango, Miss Ruby, uh, Principal Applegreen, President Amaranth, and Judge Pine. I'm a bit surprised to see Miss Ruby here. I think she's new. We typically only see the former murderers from the week. I'll have to check and see who was replaced by Miss Ruby. Anyway. Okay, so the weapons are a poison birthday cake, a gold watch, a shiv made from a Mont Blanc, a bottle of Cabernet toilet wine, exploding cufflinks and a golden bird. The locations today are the private suite, the tennis courts, the rec room, the movie theater, the spa, which is of course our murder location, and the guard tower. All right, now let's go ahead and dive into our clues and evidence. Very straightforward right off the bat, Principal Applegreen had a gold watch. All right, so we'll mark that in there. Frosting was found at a great place for a photograph. So I know from former puzzles here, um, frosting is going to be the poison birthday cake and the great place for a photograph is going to be the guard tower. And again, I just know that because it's the same location every week for Sundays, so you just start to memorize some of the patterns there. So that's how you need that piece. Okay. A stain from very expensive ink. Another one that I know just because, um, we see this clue a lot for the shiv. Um, so very expensive ink was discovered beneath the, okay, this one's tripped me up in the past, but never again, cushions of a velvet seat, and that's gonna be the movie theater. Velvet seats. Okay, so stain from very expensive ink was discovered beneath the cushions of a, of a velvet seat. Okay, so that puts the shiv made from a Mont Blanc in the movie theater. President Amaranth, another really straightforward one, um, was seen with the poison birthday cake. Okay, so that gives us not only President Amaranth's weapon, but President Amaranth's location, since we already know that frosting was found in the guard tower, and the poison birthday cake therefore was in the guard tower. We can therefore say President Amaranth was in the guard tower. Principal Applegreen was seen in the rec room. Okay, so we have the rec room here like the joystick and Principal Applegreen was in the rec room. This fingerprint was found on a golden bird. Okay, so we're looking for, I think this is probably the thing we should look out for. Oops, I'll put that in the in the bugs. But thank goodness that's not the one we, we know it's gonna be Father Mango. So Father Mango had the golden bird. And that tells us actually just one thing that Father Mango is not in the movie theater, as that's a different weapon. Whoever was in the private suite was right-handed only. Sorry, I added my own only. Whoever was in the private suite was right-handed. I was thinking about the private suite being right-handed only. Um, sometimes how those clues are presented. Right-handed for Baron Maroon, left-handed for Father, Father Mango, right-handed for Miss Ruby and Principal Applegreen and President Amaranth and Judge Pine. So I think we're only going to be able to eliminate Father Mango from the private suite. And in this case, I'm not going to bother with question marks for the others. Um, I've been kind of getting a lot of questions about question marks, which is kind of funny, but I'm very wishy-washy on them. I find them to be somewhat helpful sometimes. In this case, not so much. I usually use it in the larger puzzles, so like a Saturday or even a Tuesday puzzle where we have the motives as well. Um, and I have it down to two 
people or two options, that's when I can find it interesting and helpful because that does tell me a little bit more information. Like we know it's one of these two versus it could be one of these, um, which is how I view the blank spaces, but really to each their own on that one. All right, a Scorpio is on the tennis court. So let's see, I know Baron Maroon is a Scorpio. Is Baron Maroon the only Scorpio? Yes, okay, so Baron Maroon is on the tennis courts. And by process of elimination, that tells us that Father Mango must have been in the spa. So we do have our solution. We have Father Mango with the golden bird in the spa. I'm going to go ahead and flip these over, but before I do, I'm just going to finish out the clues here. So Judge Pine had exploding cufflinks. So we'll mark that in there. And let's see. Okay, so here, this is going to help us figure out where Baron Maroon was. Um, looking at the tennis courts here, um, there's only one possible weapon that Baron Maroon could have that could be on the tennis courts, and that is the bottle of Cabernet toilet wine. So we can put that in, and that will give uh, Miss Ruby, I believe, right? Yes, the shiv mate from the Mont Blanc, which puts her in the movie theater and puts Judge Pine in the private suite with the exploding cufflinks. That wasn't necessary for the solve, but I do always like to make sure we've got the detective's notebook all filled out. And now we can go ahead and make our accusation formally. So we have Father Mango with a golden bird in the spa. Let's go ahead and see if we were right. All right, we were right. Thanks so much for playing along with me today. I hope this was a helpful walkthrough and we'll see you tomorrow.